Good morning, thank you for joining us today. I'm here with Trevor Jones, CEO of Lynx, a company that you may not have heard of, but like big predator cats, it's stalking you. So Trevor, um, I know that the company specializes in the junction of artificial intelligence and ESG, environmental, social, and governance issues. Tell me how that works. Yeah, absolutely. So we have a lot of functions in our data suite uh, for the Lynx platform that allows junior, mid-tier, and major miners to go out and collect data from all kinds of different places. So we have folks that are entering data in the field, we have sensors, um, there's satellite images, all kinds of data that we can um, procure from the wild, so to speak. And uh, we put that all in one database and one centralized aggregated platform um, so both folks on the ground and managers in C-suite can see all of the data that pertains not just to ESG but uh, health and safety and all kinds of other aspects, non-geologic aspects at the, at the mine site too. Um, and then we are using some new artificial intelligence tools that have come on the market recently and um, these will help our users do things like query um, large amounts of data um, and it's also going to help with our um, support functions as we support teams around the world like in Indonesia so we're not getting up in the middle of the night and answering queries about exactly what's going on with the platform so several new things coming down the pike on the artificial intelligence front pretty excited about that oh that sounds that sounds really useful so what you're saying basically is it goes beyond just ESG or it it makes broader ESG teams, really. Yeah, I think, you know, we've all been um, using and, and kind of manipulating this ESG acronym for a few years now, and, and, and really it has to do with a broad-based view of replacing um, spreadsheets and notebooks. So whether it's ESG data, health and safety data, even security and risk, you know, we were talking before, um, it's just all spread out. It's in a bunch of different places. There's just a need to kind of put it in, in one place to have that aggregated on the ground picture, a complete picture of what's going on um, at the mine site. Well, speaking of things being spread out, I know one of the very valid complaints by mining companies is that there's such a plethora of standards that they're expected to comply with in terms of ESG reporting. Sure. Is Lynx doing anything to help with this problem? 100% really glad you asked about that. So it's absolutely challenging alphabet soup out there for companies to go understand which standards apply to which parts of their business. The way the Lynx platform helps is um, just by entering one piece of data, you're going to align that entry to a number of pre-configured standards. Um, so without getting into the actual acronyms, because we could probably take the rest of the interview doing that, um, you know, if there's a greenhouse gas emission, there's going to be multiple standards that that um, particular event aligns to. So with a click of a button, the user can just go ahead and uh, check off those you know, checkpoints, those key waypoints that they, they want to see on the, on the different standards that are out there. So essentially, it's kind of consolidating based on, you know, common points of interest between different standards. Yeah, absolutely. And I think this is really going to save our clients a lot of time and uh, money, frankly, with all due respect to the great consulting work that's going out there. Um, that can get pretty costly if you think about all the different standards and kind of the, the audit versus performance versus reporting standards, too. So rather than have a consultant for each one of those um, to kind of look through spreadsheets and notebooks to compile that at the end of the year, uh, we're doing it real time, um, you know, on the ground uh, as that data is uploaded. Okay, I just heard a really key word. I just heard real time. So how real time is this? If I'm sitting in the C-suite and I need to know something, how real time is this? Yeah, absolutely. I'll, I'll use an example. We have a client that's based out of Oslo um, and they have an asset in Ethiopia. When those uh, events or those pieces of data are added on the ground in southwestern Ethiopia, the management team in Oslo can see that pretty much immediately, right? So it's, it's real time or near real time. We want to get rid of these six to eight month reporting lag times in mining. Um, we can do a lot better, I think, as an industry and just getting that data in front of decision makers you know, in a quick, rapid fashion. Absolutely, and it strikes me, particularly as someone who's lived in Africa, that this could also be really useful in being aware of a problem before it becomes a crisis and being able to make plans and launch act actions to deal with it. Yeah, I couldn't have said it better, Mel, and you would know given your experience. I think um, the, the real-time risk mitigation, right, so surfacing events that are of urgency um, to decision makers in real time is, is a, certainly a big part of the platform. So in addition to being comprehensive with everything that's happening at the site, we also want to make sure things that 
need to be taken care of, um, and typically this can fall under social license or security issues, or it, it depends, of course, on the geography and jurisdiction, but uh, of course we want to get those issues at the top of the list um, of the database and, and notify um, stakeholders as well. So what it sounds like to me is that what makes Lynx unique is real-time capability allowing for forward planning and responsiveness and associated cost savings. Is that a fair summary? I would say I couldn't have said it better myself. We might have to try to get you over to Lynx to, to get on the software <laughs> for us, Mel. But um, yeah, absolutely. Let's let's create efficiencies in the field. Let's surface those risks to decision makers. And you know, let's also get away from spreadsheets and notebooks. We know we love our field notebooks in this industry. And I hear you know really great, actually fantastic stories from geologists about how they're using their notebooks, um, but those notebooks get lost. Um, they're disparate, they're disorganized. We got to put that in one spot, especially for, for regulation, for compliance, and for finance too. I know we're sitting here at Investor Intel. There's a lot of efficiency gains to be made by um, finance to, to go ahead and see this data in digital format instead of on a notebook. Awesome. Well, best of luck to Lynx going forward. Well, it's always great to talk to you. Glad we got to sit down. Thanks.